Well guys, it has been a year already since I filmed the video about building this IKEA pack system pantry. I believe that I have now officially been on YouTube for a year. If you have not seen that first video, I'll link it up here so you guys can check it out. So people are always asking me, do you like it? Do you wish you had done anything differently? Are you happy with the, for some reason there's been a lot of debate over the choice of um, types of shelving that I've used in here. People also want to know, has it held up really well? And another thing that people ask me about is they say, well, I don't have such a large space to put a pantry. I have two of these in my laundry room. You could just get one and honestly, you could make one work. And you'll see when you see how much room I actually still have, I could probably stand to go to the grocery store. And yes, I tweaked it a little bit before coming on here because I want it to look pretty. But when I say tweaked it, I mean all I did was straighten a few things up. I do have a three-year-old after all, and a 14-year-old. But I wanted to show you guys. I got a lot of comments about my snack shelf. Snack shelves, if I'm being honest. I do still have it. I still have my snack shelf. Now, we also don't hit these snack shelves quite as often as you would think, but I just like that I, first of all, have it up high to where my three-year-old can't get it, and it's pushed back a little bit so that he can't even see it, so when he opens the doors, he can't see up here, which is really nice. I do still use my top shelf for kind of the extra storage for things like picnic items or overstock of items, and then I have... <laughs> This one's already been hit up because I had turned this right this way and when I came in it was this way. So someone's already gotten into my, my pure junk little carousel. And I've got snacks here. Again, my favorite thing is my chip drawer. The chip drawer it's probably, the drawers are honestly probably my favorite because it doesn't, I do like things to have their place and the chip drawer is so nice because you just throw it in there. And again, look, now that I have a jar to put all of my binder clips that I use for my chip clips, now that I use this little jar, I have yet to not be able to find one. It's amazing because you take it off and you throw it in there. It, everything goes in here. It's it's so nice. Now, one complaint that I do have about this system is these are not intended for pantries. They're not. They are made for towels or I don't know. They're not made for heavy cans. So you really have to be careful with the weight distribution. Um, there has definitely been some bowing in the shelves, but it's been a year and it's not significant, so I kind of take that as a win. If you are going to be having really, really heavy items, just put up some plywood. I mean, you don't have to use their shelves or use their shelves. I, This one, I'll probably end up having to replace my shelves. If they continue to bow, I could see myself replacing the shelves next year, but they weren't expensive, so I'm okay with that. Now, before I had on this second shelf, I had sippy cups and all of Jack's kind of toddler stuff. Well, he doesn't need those anymore. So I've made it a little snack shelf of things that are easy to grab. I've got crackers and little bags of chips and little muffins and then a thing of peanuts. And then on this very bottom shelf, I just have three carousels with, these are just back stock extra condiments and there's some juice some apple cider vinegar on that side and then some ice cream salt. So this is just some extra stuff that we have and it weighs a lot, so it goes on the bottom. One ha one thing I have to say about this system, it is durable. I mean, my three-year-old opens and closes these doors constantly. He drives his trucks on them. He has done so much and honestly, it has not been more than just a simple little wipe down. It, they're very, very durable. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, be sure to subscribe and also hit that thumbs up. It helps me a lot. Now on this side, this is the main meal side. This is the side that no one is allowed to take anything from unless they ask mom permission because 
This is where I keep everything to make meals. The thing I did do is I got more of these containers because it was so nice having things organized and where I could see them. And so I bought more of those. And then anything else that's heavy goes on the side. So my salad dressings go on the very side. Otherwise you can already see that kind of slight bow right there. So I've switched it. I've put, <laughs> this actually used to be here and then I moved this to the side and now I keep all of our little salad toppings and then just an assortment of just random stuff on this side. And of course, same thing on here with the pasta shelf. I've put the cans to the side. And then if you saw my last video, you know I like to put how long something cooks on the bottom with dry erase. So egg noodles are something that we buy on a regular basis. As far as these two containers, I tend to change up what those pastas are. So I still write on the bottom of them because it's dry erase and it'll come off, but I don't label it with the specific type of pasta because next time I go to the store, it's probably gonna be a different type of pasta that I get. I do the same thing with my rice. Instructions on how to cook the rice are all on the bottom. So the drawers have definitely been my favorite part of this entire system. Originally, I was gonna go back and get some of the little pull-out shelves, but honestly, I've just been fine with what I have, so I haven't felt any need to do that. But, oh, I do need to go to the store. I need to get some more tortillas. So normally in our bread shelf, that's where I'll put tortillas, buns, all that kind of stuff. This, I believe, is different from last time. I don't think I had a soup shelf. So I will say that one thing I've discovered about this system is the drawers are way hardier. Uh, they can handle the weight. So this is my soup drawer, which I really like having a soup drawer. And I've got my canned soup in here. And then I also include, like the only time I ever make cornbread is when we have soup. And so that's where it lives. And then, I mean, look at all of that chicken stock that I have in here. And this, no problems at all. Very sturdy, the weight has done nothing to it. So. I highly recommend the drawers. That is my favorite feature with these. Now, as far as the other stuff, this is kind of my random shelf and overstock of extra cans and then some dried beans and then some extra canned vegetables. But this hasn't really changed. You really do, if you're gonna get one of these systems, you've gotta put the weight on the bottom. There's just, your, your shelves will last a whole lot longer if you do. Now, I cannot recommend this system enough. It has been a life saver for me. I can't tell you how easy it is. And before when I did my first video, I had this thing packed with food. And that's because I had no idea how much food I actually had in cabinets in my kitchen that were duplicates. Like I had doubles, triples. I mean, I had so many of the same thing. So when I first put this in, I mean, I, I filled it up quickly. But now that I've been working with it and living with it for a year, it's so easy to do my grocery list. I just open this up and I can see everything right before my face, which has saved us a lot of money too. So if you're thinking about getting the pack system or if you have any questions about it or any comments just in general, please leave them below. I will leave all the information in the description below. So um, the details as far as the dimensions of the ones that I have and um, even like the names of the doors, all that kind of stuff. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. This has been quite a year. I have my next project coming up. I'm actually redoing my office. So it's kind of my craft room, YouTube studio slash office. So a lot has to go into very little space. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of organization in there as well. So I'll share all those tips and tricks in that next video. Don't forget, subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you'll be notified when I upload a video. Thanks for joining me guys and I'll see y'all next time.